everyone thank you so much for clicking on my video so for some time now i have been recommending um mount zion production a movie production to most of my friends and families and they said it has been a blessing to them and i was like you know what it's about time i talk about this it's about time i do reviews so that you my family out there can also go have a look and be blessed by it so this is not a paid um advert or something no i'm just recommending this production to everyone out there so mount zion production is a family production and they dwell more on christian movies they have a defining comforting um, exaltation and blessed and amazing movies and one way or the other this production has really helped me in my faith in god you know growing my faith in god and all that so as part of a christian work we also need to you know feed ourselves what we say what we watch what we eat is you know it's an embodiment of everything so yeah I'll, as part of my segments on my channel, I'll be reviewing some of the Christian movies I've already watched and what I'm about to watch. And I wanted you to also, you know, keep showing me the love you keep showing me. And please hurry and get yourself um, one of their movies to watch and be blessed by it. Today's movie review is going to be on Abejoye. It's a recent movie for me because I just chance upon it and it's been amazing. I would say it's one of the best movies I've ever watched as a Christian. It has made me love God more, see God in a different way, you know, believe that he is the God of possibilities. It's awesome. So today we'll be reviewing the season one, part one of the movie. Can you take note? This is not going to be... Uh, I'm not going to bring out the mistakes in movies and all that. I know I have no, I don't have time for that. I'm rather going to, we're going to talk about it, deliberate where, you know, the needs, uh, there's a need for deliberations and all that. So yes, let's get into it. I'll be using my laptop, so pardon me if it's not that clear and all that. So season one, part one of Abejoye. Are you ready? I don't know if you have ever encountered sleeping and feeling something like this before, but it really happens where you'll be sleeping and then <laughs> you feel there's something that's coming on you spiritual hand anyways this is the beginning of the movie where they constantly had attacks and all that and out of worry um the parents always say that they should fast and pray about it but little did they know that the issues they may be encountering was not you know um i don't know how to put it not, not spiritual you, you understand i feel like sometimes in our lives um we give loopholes for the devil when the devil realizes that there is a little hole a loophole it can penetrate and then destroy things so that is what they were going through so fast forward to their deliberating on it they declared a fast for the family and all that now this is the interesting part yeah. Yes, baby, you can still make it. I can fix something in your past. That's a big piece of paper that you have. Now, Come on. This, man this man had a side check. This man had a side check. He had a, a side woman or something apart from his wife. So, yeah. This is the loophole I was talking about, you know. Whilst you are fasting and praying and you have a side woman or a side chick, how do you want God to come in for you? Most of us, we are living a secret life. We have a secret life somewhere. We are doing something behind closed doors. And we think God doesn't know 
or it will not be accounted unto us these are some of the things that allow the devil to dominate your life or your house so let me make you listen to this part Chick girl, so I don't know why most of the side chicks they want to be called words. Like, how, how do you want to be called a wife? Part two, second wife. What's like, how do you want to be called? Come on, baby, I'm not asking you to abandon your children, it's just for you to create time to be with me. You want to be here, you don't seem to be serious with this relationship. You still have to wait some time to think about this. This is a huge plan. Okay, so this is just a little like a brief of it. So this this man had a side chick or side woman on the side while the family was crumpling down. So it means that sometimes as Christians we may have some things going on and we feel things are not working out. Check your life. Look at what, what you are doing. What are you doing in secret that you think God doesn't know about? God does. He knows everything. So let's work on ourselves there. Let me fast forward. No, 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 no. Okay, so now the the Avista has come, which is Abejoye has come, traveled all the way from Nigeria to the state to visit his family, and this is where the interesting thing starts. Um, his grandchildren went to see him, and upon getting there, they started hearing some noises from his room. As if, let me play. So the man was talking to someone, but we didn't know who he was talking to. Was he talking to himself? Was he talking to an imaginary spirit? Or he was talking to an imaginary opponent? Now, who was he talking to? That is the question. Who was he talking to? And th this movie will let you know that there are things out there. There are spirits out there. Like, things are real. We are living in a spiritual world so you have to be careful how you approach someone who you talk to and your manner in which you talk to someone because you don't know where the person is coming from yeah um so season one part one made us realize that yes there are spirits out there things are happening and there's a reason why he did all that he could 
but when you fast forward it i think they couldn't take it every time there were there was an issue every time there was an issue so there were spiritual things happening and all that they couldn't they couldn't take it anymore and this man before then this man um told the villagers he was coming to um america yeah he told the villagers he was coming to america so they had to throw a party for him all the villagers like they threw a big party for him and it's been less than a week and all these issues were happening so the wife proposed that he goes back to nigeria because they can't do this anymore and how would you feel if you they threw a party for you <laughs> They are leaving your country to a different country only for you to return back home after one week. It was a shame. Instead of spending three, four months, he had to spend a week and come back. Let's see what happens. So I have fast forwarded it to where the family told him that he can't, they can't let him stay. So he had to leave. He had to go back to Nigeria. You know, his presence there was causing more chaos than they thought and so they called a pastor for him to take him like take him to the airport and go back and that was a disgrace for him that was a disgrace because a, a celebration of your leaving and now within less than a week you're coming back home that was bad and the man was really worried like he was a kingmaker you know charlie it's not as once people get to go out outside the country so it was hectic so the pastor had to take him and yeah fast forward he was saying goodbye to his son and then he said goodbye oh this place was really sad when i watched it let me give you the volume man It was really sad. So he was actually thanking all the spirits in the village thanking them for everything they have done because he knew they had a hand in it that they will bring him back to nigeria and it happens people leave the country and then within some short time they come back and you don't understand you know there are spirits everywhere we have to be very careful and all that so this part uh, was really sad <laughs> so the pastor had to take him to the airport now How would you feel your father has left the country or his country to come and visit you and then you have to tell him to go back? That was that was a big blow. So yeah, that was season one part one. We don't know after this whole thing what happened. Does it mean that he had to return back to Nigeria after the whole celebrations? The did the evil spirit that was tormenting the family did did they stop? What happened to the side chick? There's a lot of you know suspense in this movie and then i'll review the part two of season one next week thank you so much for watching to the end of this video please don't forget to subscribe comment and like and please do well to go download this movie to watch please go and watch it it's on youtube i'll leave their name somewhere here and you can subscribe to their channel and then please be watching I love you so much and thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, kindly comment, and if you haven't subscribed, do well to subscribe.